Hello, chemistry students. Today, we're going to be performing our preparation of alum lab. In this lab, we'll be synthesizing alum from scrap aluminum. The particular alum compound that we will be synthesizing is potassium aluminum sulfate dodecahydrate. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in this experiment is weigh out approximately one gram of aluminum foil. So we have our aluminum foil on the scale right here, and the mass of our aluminum foil is 1.0343 grams. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken our aluminum foil, cut it up into small pieces, and transferred it to a 250 mil beaker. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add 50 milliliters of 1.5 molar potassium hydroxide to dissolve our aluminum foil. So we have our 50 milliliters of 1.5 molar potassium hydroxide. We'll add this to the aluminum foil. And then we'll heat gently on a hot plate with a glass stir rod in. So as this heats, it's going to take about five to 10 minutes for the aluminum to dissolve, except for maybe some small impurities. And then we will continue heating until the volume has reduced by about 25 to 50 percent. I don't know if you can see now, but we are getting some fizzing with the potassium hydroxide and the aluminum foil. And we do this step in the hood because it's evolving hydrogen gas. So we're going to go ahead and continue to let this dissolve until all of the aluminum foil has dissolved in the potassium hydroxide. Okay, so at this point, we've boiled our aluminum plus potassium hydroxide mixture until we reduce the volume by about 25% or so. So we're going to take that now off the heat and we're going to transfer it into a funnel with some glass wool inside of it. And that glass wool is going to catch any impurities that are in our aluminum potassium hydroxide mixture, which you can see there are some impurities inside there. I'm going to remove the glass stir rod and use some hot hands and transfer the solution into the funnel. And you can see we captured a lot of those impurities in our glass wool. So now we're going to take this beaker with the filtered solution and we're going to run some tap water on the outside to cool it down. Okay, so at this point, our solution has cooled down. So now we're going to make the solution acidic with the slow addition of 45 milliliters of four molar sulfuric acid. So we're gonna get our 45 milliliters of sulfuric acid. OK, 
Okay, so we're going, we are 45 milliliters of sulfuric acid. And now we're going to slowly add this to our solution in our 250 ml beaker. We want to try and stir continuously as well. You can see we're getting some large lumps of aluminum hydroxide in our solution now. So we've added our sulfuric acid, and we have some of those large lumps of aluminum hydroxide inside of our beaker. What we're going to do next is we're going to gently heat our beaker until we reduce our volume to about 45 milliliters. I'm going to put this on the hot plate. Continue to stir. And we're going to heat this gently until we reduce our volume to 45 milliliters. So we're continuing to heat and reduce our total volume down to about 45 milliliters. But as you can see, most of our aluminum hydroxide lumps have now dissolved and our solution is turning clear. So we'll continue heating this gently and reducing the volume. Okay, so at this point, we've been heating our solution gently. I'm gonna turn off the heat because We've now significantly reduced the volume to about 45 milliliters, and we have a nice clear solution. So we're going to go ahead and place this in tap water to get it cooled, and then we're going to set it in an ice bath to induce crystallization. Okay, so we've let our solution cool some. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set it in an ice bath. We have it in an ice bath here. And then we're going to stir with a glass stir rod for about 10 minutes. And as it cools, we should start getting crystals forming. Okay, so hopefully you can see, I've been stirring it for about two minutes or so. I'm continuing to stir, but you should see that I'm starting to get crystallization occurring here. You can see the white crystals forming inside the solution. So I'm continuing to stir on the ice bath and you can see that we have our alum crystallizing or potassium aluminum sulfate dodecahydrate. That's the particular alum that we are synthesizing in this experiment. Okay, so our alum has been on an ice bath for about 10 minutes we've been stirring and you can see we have crystallization has occurred and that white precipitate is our alum so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a buchner funnel assembly so we have our buchner funnel filter flask some filter paper that we'll be placing in the Buchner funnel. 
And our vacuum line is not working, so we're going to be using a water bottle, empty water bottle, to pull a vacuum through the Buchner funnel. So I'm going to dampen the filter paper with a little bit of 95% ethanol. I'm using 95% ethanol because the alum is not very soluble in the ethanol. Okay. So we'll start our vacuum and we'll add our alum. I'm going to use a glass stir rod with a rubber policeman to help get the alum into the Buchner funnel. And I'm going to use some 95% ethanol to help me get the rest of the alum from the beaker into the Buchner funnel. Okay, so we've transferred our alum from the beaker into the Buchner funnel. And now we'll continue to pull a vacuum through to filter. I'm next going to wash my crystals after it's filtered with about 20 milliliters of ethanol, 95% ethanol. Okay, so I've got 20 milliliters of 95% ethanol here. And set the vacuum back up. I'm going to wash with the 95% ethanol. It's going to wash the crystals, but it's also going to help the crystals dry. And I'll continue vacuuming until we get all the 95% ethanol wash through the filter flask. Okay, so after filtering, I've gone ahead and transferred my alum crystals to a watch glass, and I'm going to let them dry before I uh, determine the mass recovered of the alum. So you can see my crystals are right here. Hopefully you can see those. That's the alum crystals. And we're just going to let this dry. So as our alum is drying, we're going to go ahead and pre-weigh a 100 mil beaker. So here's our 100 mil beaker. And the mass of our beaker is 49.4643 grams. Okay, so we've let our alum dry and I transferred it to our pre weighed 100 ml beaker. So now we're going to determine the mass of the alum plus the pre weighed 100 ml beaker.
mass of the alum plus the pre-weighed 100 mil beaker is 65.0147 grams. And that concludes our preparation of alum experiment. So thank you for joining me for this laboratory period.